84 critical strike, demon dead! Ho ho ho! The power of the sniper rifle, ladies and gentlemen! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hey Tom! Going playing game. I'm your mate of the day, such a man! We're going back to the city of the dead. The dead city. The captain told me I'm gonna pay 5,000 rubles for fuel and food. So why I'm leaving the boat hungry? So I took like a bunch of gear with me. Uh, I even got myself a Dragonov sniper rifle, which is really strong. And also I was uh, really lucky enough that one of the merchants have donated another one of those. So I give that to Hex again, just in case if he needs to, uh, you know, be more of a sniper boy. But yes, so far so good. This is progressing as intended, I guess. I didn't give him any ammo, but he was gonna be fine anyway. Now let's see how the radiation is going. Great, okay. Uh, thankfully, I got myself some protection. And if you wonder, yeah, the uh, AIs, the other NPCs that I got in my party, radiated. Already. Jesus. I barely exited the shore and I'm already radiated. Nice. Okay, where is the medicine for that thing? Radiation. Okay, use it. Uh, my guys are immune to poison, they're immune to radiation, and they're immune to addiction. So that's why I'm not giving them any like additional gear. I know I should, but basically it's like I don't even know where to obtain those things. Uh, also, I could probably buy this thing just in case. Let's see. Do I have anything I can try to sell you? To squeeze inside of you? Okay, I can sell those, I guess. We don't, we don't need that many. Uh, I can sell you this thing. I can sell you this thing. Okay, actually I cannot sell you that because you don't have enough <laughs> money to pay me off. Okay, great. Yeah, trading, man. It's all about trading. So what's the plan for today? Go into the city, try to do some exploring. Hopefully we're gonna get into the metro. Uh, and I need to uh, earn experience points. And why do we need experience points? Because we still need to level up our characters. Even though that I'm on level 18, apparently this is like not even the medium, uh, the the half part of the game. I'm basically getting close to the half part of the game. But yeah, still. Uh, next teammate. Okay. Survival, stealth. I think I'm gonna give uh, the doggy a bit of a stealth points over here, so there's a chance that enemies will actually try to ignore him. Okay, there you go. Survival. Your skill at surviving the hardship of the wasteland helps you locate points of interest during your travels, avoid combat on the global and travel faster. Uh, yeah, okay, I guess. Next combatant. Right, still doesn't have action points. Ah, my good old friend Hex again, right. Mmm, rifles and shotguns, I believe. That's the thing you're using? Wait, what are you exactly using? Because I kind of forgotten. Uh, this is what? Rifles and shotguns, automatic firearms. Okay. Automatic firearms, rifles and shotguns. Okay, I'm gonna increase this thing a little bit. Modifier minus one. Why is this thing minus one? I don't know. Okay, give the rest of the points over here and a bit of a over here. There you go. Nice. Uh, right, and then of course there's Alexander, who is completely low level, who is on barely level 14. But then again, if you think about that, he's the almost highest level in the entire party. Expect, of course, of yours truly. And I'm gonna actually show you how powerful is the dragon of uh, sniper rifle that I have. It's really powerful. So, you see the distance? It only takes five points to make an aimed shot. And, oh man, this thing is strong. Okay, maybe not aim at the head, but let's aim at the chest. 25. Okay, can I... Oh, okay, this time I didn't crit, but last time when I've critted, I crit I critted for like 80 points or something like that, so yeah, devastating. And also because I need experience points, that means I will have to fight with everything that we're gonna encounter. Everything. Because, yeah, I need experience points. And apparently, uh, the experience points are, ba uh, are based on the amount of hit points the enemy have. The more hit points the enemy team have, the bigger the experience you're gonna get. That's more or less how this thing works in this game. One down, three to go! Ow. And with the equipment that I got, basically going through this thing is like a breeze right now. There is nothing that possibly could oppose me, at least on the surface. But since I'm already over here, we have to also solve a few other uh, additional quests. For example, there's one quest over here that was related to uh, digging out a grave. And I believe this was this grave. So what I need to do is we need to get a shovel and we need to bury this thing. Okay, I hope this was the grave of Sonia. Was it? I think this was the one. I don't remember. Okay, there are a few other graves over here, but those one. Ooh, there's an armor over here. Uh, but those ones are, I think, stalkers. And Sonia was basically buried outside in the shadows in a corner, so nobody can find her dead corpse. 
And where's my shovel? I really, I really hope I, yeah, okay. I, I even got two shovels this time. Okay. Look at the grave. Uh, homeless Sonia. Dig out the grave. Nice. Okay. Place the glass eye, but, uh, look at the grave. Okay. Pl uh, put this thing inside. Well, you started this little project, so you might as well finish it. You place Sonia's eye next to the corpse. You stretch your back and look at Sonia's eye, shining in, uh, by the darkened remains. Suddenly, there is a terrible shout. What now? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Okay, I just hope I won't get attacked by a ghost. I, <laughs> I honestly hope this is not the case. Right, can I bury this thing? Hmm, okay, apparently I cannot do anything else with this thing. Right, give shovel back to Fidel. And let's check what was that shout. Come on, boys, move it! I think that was the quest giver. I hope he's still alive. He owes me experience points. Where is he? I forgot completely on which side he was. Uh... Uh... Wait, hold on a second. Check the quest log. Hide everything. Stalker base, dead city. Someone of the group mushroom cultists disappeared on the side. Nope. 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 Stalker, 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 stalker. Where's this fucking stalker base? Stalker base. Uh. Fearful mentioned about it. I think it was this guy? Okay, he's, he's a lifeless corpse right now. Great. No saving grace. N no good. Only angry spirits. It's over. Hey, buddy, what's up? You okay? I came to tell you I buried the glass like you wanted. The mansion's reply in his lightness and bright as late as late autumn leaves. You know, I saw her after you left, and her empty eyes burned the spirit out of me. I have no fear now, nor joy, nor shadow. My soul have been maimed by a terrible curse, and now I know those wounds. They will not heal. No one can stop a bullet once it's fired. Someone goes for hexes, it seems. Leave me. Who do you see? What you talking about? I went for a little nap, and when I opened my eye, there, wa there she was, squatting in the corner. The man points in the dark corner with a shaking hand. This, there's nothing there. She was on, of one color with the shadows, but her eyes drilled into me. They burned at me like flame. This is when she smiled. This is when I understood that this is not the end. This is only the beginning of my suffering. Oh, come on. I don't see any issue over here. Okay, apparently I can't do anything with him. I could potentially buy something from him. Okay, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna buy the rest of your ammunition. Because apparently you're gonna get lost anyway, so nobody fucking cares for you. Thanks, man. Okay, can I? What's in the backpack? Oh! I could actually pick it up. What? Minus one action points, minus three dodge. Okay. That's an interesting concept. Hmm, dexterity. Well, if the hazmat suit that I had would not actually lower that thing, that would be great. Okay, Alexander! God for something for ya! Can't carry my items. <laughs> you, you sure about that? I have to admit, you know, it's good to be back. Uh, will you enter the battle? Do you want to enter the battle? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. If you'll be fighting with the monsters! Yeah, that's, that's the fight I want to do. That's the fight I want to participate in. Basically, uh, the metro system is, well, it's dangerous. But it's also a place uh, where I think you can get a bunch of experience. Oh, and by the way, if you actually, hello. Oh, nice, bandits, attack. And also a side note, if you don't have the hazmat suit, which I was basically very lucky to obtain it. Uh, if, you don't has the ha if you don't have the hazmat suit, the way to uh, avoid the radiation is basically to stockpile yourself the pills and you need to take two pills at a time because apparently that thing stacks so that means you're gonna have like 100 Im percent uh, immunity to radiation for like i don't know five minutes ten minutes depending on how uh, how that thing work i haven't used that thing for such a long time i just forgot but yeah basically that's that's how you could do it and I got the hazmat suit because I've stockpiled a lot of money and I've... Uh, I think I've bought one? Or we found one at the ho No, I think we found one actually at the hospital. Yeah. The hospital itself was not that hard, was not that difficult, but... The reward from it? Oh, man. 
The best reward in the entire goddamn dead city. Outside of the sniper rifle we got from the crater. And yes, grenades. Use them. A lot. Highly recommending the grenades, boys. <laughs> Just want to point it out really quick. And sometimes you're gonna be lucky and you're gonna get yourself a new level. And now comes the question, where exactly we should try to go from the looter's base? I can also hope that we'll be able to meet some type of a trader around here because I got a lot of crap on my ass. No, really, I got like shitloads of armor, like some rusted weaponry that I could try to sell. Uh, but what I need the most is... A bunch of demons attack at you. You gotta think fast or it will be turned to shreds and pulled into hell itself. How wonderful. Ah, great. Okay, please tell me I'll be able to survive this thing because holy shit, blinded. Oh, great. Great, that's, that's just awesome. No, really, I'm a big fan of this. Trust me. How, how, why you don't trust me, man? Problem is that... Hey, not again. Problem is that my guys... Uh... I don't think they'll be able to attack because they got like a lot of crap on themselves. Yeah, I may have accidentally have to load. Or risk that I'm gonna lose somebody. Which is not gonna be a viable option. Guys? Okay, you're still capable of fighting, which is interesting. Here comes the flame! Uh, thank God for my armor, apparently. Phew, that was close. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and we're gonna try to do some bursting. Oh yeah! And I didn't damage anything else. Go, Dougie, go! <laughs> Something took damage. Okay, they're attacking my wolf. Good thing I gave him like a lot of armor. Holy shit. But from the look of it, ow. Uh-oh, I'm gonna die. Uh-oh. Oh, I survived! Oh, I don't know how. First things first, steam pack would be nice to have. Uh, okay, maybe not the super one, but just the normal one. There you go. And now I'm addicted. Great. Fire breathing motherfuckers. Ah, now, now I'm addicted. I have to fall back to the stalker base and, you know, recharge myself a little bit. Uh, okay. Right. This is fine. Now let's see. Why does the boost all of a sudden cost seven action points? I don't know. Right, one dead. Uh, anything else? I don't think so. Right, in the turn. Come on, kill them. Look out, doggy. Okay, doggy, eight points. Fourteen points. Don't die. Seventeen points. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Holy shit. Like, why this thing hits me so hard? Question is, can I hit it harder though? Uh, that thing is still alive. Okay, boost at this thing. There you go, it's dead. Right, kill the remaining one. Thank God, 650 experience points. Whew, that was close. I don't know why, and I don't remember why I got the technical room uh, thingy over here discovered. So, you know what? I, I think that for the purpose of today's video, we're gonna actually try to go over there. We are now entering the uh, the metro system beyond the looter's base. We actually have to open up the gate over here in order to get to this section of the of the underground and a group of bandits. Gladly. Okay, what you got? Rusty AK. How the fuck you were able to survive in the in the metro system of the dead city with the rusty AK? I I don't understand that thing and I don't think I want to understand this thing. Uh right, I'm still with the with rough, so that means I got lower at uh, action points. But that's okay. Come on, guys. Show yourself. Clever motherfuckers. They hide and they, sh they shoot and they hide. Clever. But not clever enough. Come on, boys. Keep on shooting. Ow. Okay, Alexander. Right, you should be fine. Uh, okay, aim it shot from the sniper rifle. Let's aim for the head. That didn't do enough damage. Aim for the head. Oh, come on, I thought you were gonna kill him. My head! Oh! Yeah, I'm actually also testing my armor, you know? Five damage. Yeah, that's that's the thing. This is how it's supposed to go. There you go. Bandit dead. Rusty rifle, rusty AK. Why? Why do you have such a shitty weapon? What the fuck has happened to Fidel? <laughs> 
You know what? I think I'm gonna actually run around with the with the night vision goggles. Maybe maybe that thing is gonna help me a bit more. There is a station over here. I wonder what's inside of that thing. Probably more death and destruction. <laughs> Eventually, I'm gonna go there. Just not today. Oh. A caravan, lovely. I never thought I'm gonna meet those guys over here. I feel like shit, yeah, of course, because you are shit. Oh, how nice. Okay, maybe they're gonna have uh, some explosives. They'll be lovely to buy, like grenades, please. Please tell me get something good. Uh, well, I've seen better, I've seen worse. I'm gonna be honest. You don't have any grenades, which is kinda pain in the ass. At least you got a super steam pack, so that's lovely. Okay, I got a bunch of crap I can sell you. Not this thing, though. Almost there. Almost there. Okay. I think I can use this tunnel to get here. Please tell me I can use this tunnel to get here. Yeah, because eventually this one is blocked, so... I hope it's gonna work. You stumble upon Sarkas fighting terrible fire-breathing demons. Would you enter the battle? Sure. And where are they? Oh. Okay. They are getting their asses whooped. That's for sure. Right, I see four small demons and one big boy over there. One stalker over here with a scorpion. Uh, one stalker lying on the ground already and probably he's gonna be dead very soon. Oh, I think this was a bit of a mistake. But we're gonna get some experience points from this thing, that's for sure. Right. Come on, boys. We got experience points to gain. The big boy is about to attack. Uh, okay, let's see. Can I shoot him from here? Not yet. Can I shoot him from here? Yes, I can. Right, aim it shot. Aim at the head. 84 critical strike. Demon dead. Ho, ho, ho. The power of the sniper rifle, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you worry, man. Backup has arrived. Yeah, I got some experience points. Hi, dude. We humans should stick together. Uh, okay, super stimulants and some ammo. Okay, apparently you didn't want to give me your contribution towards this. I'm gonna take the contribution from your fellow dead comrades, I guess. Okay, there's one more over here, I guess. Ooh, okay. Some meat. Always nice to have. Mm, ooh. Really? Okay, that's an interesting weapon. And some ammo for my sniper rifle. Thank you. And surprise, surprise, I cannot access this thing through this side of the tunnel. I have to go all the way around to actually access this thing from here. Thanks, devs! <laughs> we can also access this station that was completely blocked off by the destroyed uh, wagons. Okay, sure, let's explore this one and then we're gonna go to the technical room. Whoa, okay. Right. Closet door that leads to nowhere, basically. I. Ooh. Ah, okay. What the fuck is this? Uh, okay, this is weird. Hold on a second, can I, okay, I'm gonna take off those things. Uh, sure, glowing mushrooms, and a dead guy with a, holding hands with a skeleton. Now there's something you don't see every day. A semi-headless corpse and a man uh, in a stalker gang gear, uh, hugging a skeleton in a dirty tetra dressed, surrounded by withered flowers. Search the bodies. Shora the Wendura Last Will and Testament. Don't judge me too harshly, mates. Yeah, yeah, I can already picture you all saying I used too many magic mushrooms and developed schizophrenia. And you'll probably be right, or not. Maybe the two stools really have power that helped uh, all those shamans from long ago step into the world of the spirits. I think so because I am almost sure that Nas Nasia is real. She's not an incredible hallucination. She's always in this godforsaken tunnel, whatever I chopped down on a shroom. At first, she was all shy. Then she told me her story. She killed herself because some dudes, some dudes she loved, dumped her. Wow. She jumped under that train, which turned out to be the last one in the city's history. A few hours later, war was declared and the city got nuked. I came here again and again to visit her, to talk about her joys and regrets and tell her, the, uh, tell her stories about the world. She bounded to the place of her death, you see. Somewhere along the line of I fell in love with her, then fell still more deeply in love. Today I'm making a relationship onto the next phase. I'm becoming a ghost <laughs> like her so we can be together forever. Her pale transparent face is looking at me right now. I can see the sorrow and uh, longing in her eyes. Farewell guys. I am coming, Nasia. I'm coming, baby. Here I go. The next page is uh, caked with blood. The writer almost uh, 
that I think almost inedible. Fine, if a bullshit you fucking told my love something, Jaff. What? Uh, okay. Right. I don't know what that thing was. That's a normal ammunition. He even used it cologne. Well, isn't he just a gentleman? What the fuck is this? It's a perfume. For woman. Okay. That if that's her, that she is really pretty. Okay, I'm not detecting anything. Right, where's my scanner? Okay, scanner boy, don't fail me now. Hmm. I don't f Oh, there's something over here. Wait, wasn't this thing closed? Oh, no, it's still closed. Okay. <laughs> I thought for a second that all of a sudden it opened. Okay, biscuits. That's always nice. Some crap over here. Yeah, not gonna pick up that thing. I wonder can I open the door? It's locked! It's unlocked! Hello! A rope. Hmm. The vent shaft leads outside. If someone would only drop down a rope from the above so that I could climb out this way. A rope. And a backpack. Nice. So basically... Empty tin. So basically you wanna tell me that I can get myself another access to the metro system? That'd be great. Okay. Right, good to know about this place. It's actually really deep within the metro system, so that means you're gonna meet only the demons. <laughs> Which is great if you're looking for some, you know... Uh, if you're looking for some thrilling experience and you want to and exit the metro system with your ass burned, but you know how it is. Okay, I'm gonna go over here actually. There's also a skeleton over here as well. I'm surprised that the ghost is not trying to, you know, show itself. It's actually hard to say, is this supposed to be some type of a hidden quest that I just don't know how to activate? Or is it just like, you know, a little a little joke thingy from the developers? Maybe that's the thing. Hard to say. And welcome to the tech room. And apparently there's a guy over here with a doggo. Oh! It's like a... What? There are actual people over here. Holy shit. Yo, this is a functioning metro station. Oh, please tell me I can actually go inside and not get shot immediately on the face. Please tell me this is a safe haven. Want to find out? Hey, if he's not trying to attack me. Hello. You see a tall young man. Yada, yada, yada. You want me to drag you to the cage? Sorry, I can't do that. The last dog seed I put into the cage cried a lot, so daddy uh, freed him and locked him up in the pantry instead. Then daddy yelled at me. Say that I am too radical and shot temperate in treating uh, the good guests. So no cage for you. You walk. I would rather stop and talk. From this moment on, I desire more information. Who did you cage? Well, the dubs here. The, the one who came in uh, as a guest. Daddy told me things about topsiders and guests, and I got uh, and I got scared, and I made him sit in the bunnies and piggies cage. Our doggies. It's good that they were just feed, otherwise the guests would have would have a bad time. And translate, and translate from dummy speak. <laughs> There's no normal man from the surface living here, I can talk to him. Sure, let's offend him right away. Sure again, <laughs> unless Valia is making babies with him again. Hehe, <laughs> oh. Okay, sure. Couple of questions. What's your name? I'm Pavka, Paul. Well, but, but better call me Pavka. Pavka, okay? Sure. What is this place? It's home. Before the boom, boom, ba ba boom, kaboom at outside and all the topsies burdened like books, daddy brought us here. And I was this big. Hmm, okay. Right. Have you heard anything interesting? Heard? Where? No, never mind. Okay. Right. I'll be on my way, I guess. So, basically in this place, lunatics live. Okay, I just hope that those guys are not potential cannibals. I think this guy is, a pr is the prisoner over there. How do I know? Well, that's the pantry. And I wonder where is daddy? Are those rats? Oh, there's their little... F oh, okay. <laughs> They're using the rats, I guess, as food. There's nothing over here. Nothing over here either. Mm, the toilet, woman, 
and a bunch of doggos around. Okay. Right. Sure. Let's speak with this lady over here. Hello. Jeez, you're a drug, you fella. Really? You wanna be my husband too? Nah. I'm I'm not into topsiders no more. I don't even like masking my hobby. He's stupid, really. What's the problem with mm, Maxim you've mentioned? That's our business, got it? Sure. Okay, she doesn't feel like tanking with me. Okay, well, she's just a wonderful flower, isn't she? Sure. And I wonder what's this woman doing? Okay, is this supposed to be a different exit? Okay, used to be, but it's all collapsed and destroyed. I don't know what she's doing over here. Hello. Oh, I think that's Daddy. You should rather speak with my dear husband, Vladimir Ivanovich. I mean, my kids. Let him do all the talking on behalf of our family. I just want to have a little... I have a few questions about just that, your family. And what would you like to know? Your children are acting rather odd. This is completely predictable result of my husband's technique, teaching techniques. Vladimir Ivanovich only gave the kids the knowledge they needed to survive. And he and I, we believe that teaching children to use all the intellectual capacity... Cap Capacity would be cruel in the vile new world. They were only taught to communicate with each other using simple words, to hunt small creatures, to eat anything nutritious without developing a ca carving for particular foods, to not care about what they wear, where they sleep, and what they do. The one important thing is survival. Oh, so you kids acting like domesticated freaks is what you wanted for them all along? That's cruel. The woman laughs with sadness in her eyes. Cruel, huh? You know what's cruel? Teaching kids hygiene in a world where there is barely any clean water. Teaching kids to read in a world divided of books. Teaching kids to play and make friends in a world where every other person is a slave or a brainless mutant. You know what was even more cruel? Educating kids about gas stoves and refrigerators, airplanes and cars, gathering space uh, flight and the wisdom of Marx, Engels and imported Lenin. And the only things left of those is ash. Everything. Just ash. So don't you dare lecture me on cruelty. Uh, but my dear, don't you know that the only reason man triumphed over nature was his intelligence? As an animal, a human is rather weak. He has no shell, no talons, no fur. Stealing the wisdom of my literature from your kids is hum uh, homophobic to the bone. You are a mistaken comrade. The word is cruel, but if you had not crippled your kids mentally, they would uh, at the very least stand a, ch stand a chance to regain what humanity lost. Now they are a part of the problem and not the solution. I will not listen to the undeserved crit criticism. <laughs> sure. Okay, want to talk? Okay, talk with her husband. Right. Howdy. You look like a lunatic. Funny, I get to see the person who is so idiot agitated my son Pavka. My name is Vladimir Ivanovich. I am the one who speaks on behalf of my family. What I can do for you, comrade? A uh, couple of questions. I'm not interested in idle conversations. Uh, would you like to trade with me? Okay, you have some ammo. Right, what about your family? I could not help but notice your kids' behavior is rather bizarre. Disk, disk, disk. I hope you meant to say they behave like survivors, like two heirs of this world. Really, how the hell they are survivors? Your teenage son acts like he's a mentally ill child. Vlamo uh, chuckles as you uh, add you with contemptuous leer. I'm sorry, would you prefer I teach him niceness of grammar? To appreciate Mozart? To become a dreadful communist? To read? Just to discover that books are used for fuel bonfires, that music tapes are used for target practice, and that this proud communist country that regressed into tribes of cavemen looking for rats to eat, why should I poison my children with knowledge that will only destroy their souls? I hate my, uh, this life myself. There is no newspaper in the morning, no books to buy, not even a goddamn TV to watch. Would it be cruel to bestow this hoe on my children? This hoe from wit. Intelligence. A highly developed intellig intelligence will benefit from knowledge and mental acumen even in the undeveloped world. A wicked fire lights in Vl uh, Vladimir Ivanovich's eyes. Despite his flaws, he is a smart man and he is hungry for an intellectual simulating debate. There is, however, contempt in his gaze as well. Nonsense! You are and you and I are intellectuals closest to apes than the amazing educators of the history, who before the war or had already proven that their profit education is a much more greater benefit than a traditional one. Unnecessary knowledge only confuses young minds. 
they should study no more than they need to. Intelligence, speechcraft, personality. Let me show you how wrong you are. Failure. Hmm. I'm sorry, you may find this insulting, but you plain blankly think yourself more intelligent than you are. Okay. Okay, can I do anything? I think I failed at the test and basically I probably failed at some quest. <laughs> Good job, me! And there's a survivor over there. Oh, the doors are open. How nice. Howdy, partner! Oh man, oh man, oh man. Family a normal person. Oh man, dude. I thought I'd die in this shithole. Brother, I'm begging you. Please, get me out of here. I am Maxim. Maxim Kaltiosha. I'll repay you. I promise. I'll give you more shit than you can carry. What's crazy down here? I'm telling you. Oh man. Only the father is not retarded. Instead, he's cunning. Fucker of the genetic monster. Who wants to breed me to his ugly daft cow daughter? Please save me. Hold up. Let's talk first. Saving you, <laughs> saving you sounds like the right thing to do. Let's talk about that. Brother, please, I'm begging you. I don't want to die in this place. Ask what you want to ask, but please make it quick and do something. And do something to help me escape. Who are you? Okay. Uh, what you doing here? What do you think I'm doing? I'm waiting for someone to save me. Sure. What is this place? I don't give a shit. Some hole in the wall. Maybe metro maintenance stuff. Work it and chill it out here. I only know that nowadays a family of fucked up degenerates, freaks and assholes kind at home. Have you heard anything interesting? Man, what rumors? Brother, hello? Knock knock, you dummy, big dummy. Anyone home? I'm in prison on a filthy fucking solid mattress in some widow storage room. I don't know about anything expect my carvings to escape this place. Sure, to change the subject. Let's talk about that. I beg of you, please, get out of this mess. They don't feed me, they don't give me water, they only, they only say I have to make babies with the fat chick. They're really nuts. I once saw that dumb looking kid turn into a living rat with his teeth and eat it. God's food and all. And my so called sister in love, she is what? Like 18? Well, she's, she's her pants regularly. They're not normal. You hear me? I bet you. I bet you're planning to cook me up and eat me. Or maybe even skip the cooking part. Oh man, just please save me. You make me sick. Oh. Here are you, a beautiful wife and a roof over your head, and you one job is to make babies. You want to run from all of that? Have you seen the beauty? I'm a simple legendary writer, Martin. For Soviet literature, ingenious. And my dreams are also simple. A dream of having grandkids. But I would never force my child into breeding with a stranger. Honest. I'm not lying. Okay, good. What about that? The old duo would fit right in, uh, in with this whack job family. Ay, caramba. We got nothing to say. Yeah, same here. There are no words to describe this place, apart from maybe fucking hole, shit bucket, and then of degenerates. Please help me! Lie. Those people are totally peaceful. Just run away, but they won't harm you. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, what to do? What to do? I'm gonna ask daddy first, would he, you know, let the guy live? Uh, I'm here for, for the prisoner, Mashim. Believe me, Maxim is no prisoner. He's family. He's married to my daughter. Really? I love your daughter. You think she's ready for marriage? <laughs> uh, I'm ready to pay Maxim's ransom. Listen, the guy does not want to be here. Let's let me replace him. I will be a good hub hobby to your daughter. <laughs> no, we won't. I'm ready to pay Maxim's ransom. I repeat, Maxim is not a prisoner. But my daughter Valia's husband. Okay, okay, let's call him a husband. What would it take to div uh, divorce them? So be it, I feel this despicable asking for ransom, but if you could get the things uh, we need to survive At least 10 first aid kits, 10 cans of preserved meat, 3 portions of something, I would let my scheme des decide whatever he wants to say or leave How much? You fucking kidding me? You can stick your ransom dreams right up your ass, free mask symbol else Let me free the prisoner some other way Like what? I save your daughter Listen, the guy does not want to be here. I will replace him, let him go. Let him go or else. Or else, enlighten me. But remember that you are my guests. Speechcraft, lie. I'll tell his bandit friends where he's being kept prisoner. Don't think that killing me will keep them from fighting the, uh, out either. Before coming here, I left a note telling my pals where I'll be going. Success. You cornered me. Well played. Tell Maxim he's free. I will use the incarnate comb to tell the kids not to attack him. Smooth! Smooth move, ex-lax. <laughs> I'll tell Maxim the good news. 
That was surprisingly easy. Okay, so that's the daughter. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Uh, I'm annoying. Okay, what's the problem with this Maxim you've mentioned? That's our business, got it? Sure, sweetheart, sure. Right, you're, aren't you just a wonderful flower in this bloody ass metro? Okay, Maxim, get your ass out of here. I'm glad to see you, brother. When are you gonna free me from this shithole? Uh, I'm here to talk about that. Attack us with the daddy of the family. You can go. Oh, man. You negotiated with that monster for my sorry ass? Brother, I will remember what you did for me until the day I finally check out. If you ever visit the looter's base, fight me as soon as you can. I'll give you all my spare stuff. Nothing is too good for my goddamn fucking savior. Thank Agatha as well. It was she who sent me. My sweet baby, I knew she would help me out in the end. Thank you again, brother. Oh man, I can't believe I'm finally ditching this hole. Yeah, I wonder how we're gonna get through the metro with all of the mutants and other stuff inside, but okay, by all means, go, go. Have fun, I guess. So despite the fact that those guys are lunatics, they got, they got like one rat farm over here. They got another rat farm over here. So, you know, it's like... The only problem is that they are eating those things alive. Uncooked. Hi. I've never seen someone like you before. Neither in here or there. Hello, I'm Mania. Sure, uh... What's there... What's here and... What's there? And here is Daddy's old workplace, where he, we live now. There is whatever I should close my eyes to see and see pictures like dolls in the books. I expect sometimes they move and talk. Okay. Right. You mean dreams? What sort of dreams do you usually have? I see fairy, fairy tales sometimes. Other times I become a bird and fly away from the ceiling, ceiling vents. And other, other times I become mall and dig my way out through the floor. And other, other times I see a prince. He comes for me and sp spits me away. Hmm, okay. You have uh, diverse dreams, yet they all share a motive of escaping from this place. Why is that? No! What you talking about? I don't want to escape. No, 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 no. You may think you have not uh, anything bad about this place, but... Uh, <laughs> you know that this place is wrong. No! No, 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 no! Don't come closer! Daddy! No, Uh-oh. Don't throw me in there! Don't lock the door! Daddy, please, I beg of you. Oh, this is... this is going south. Okay, at first you think you witness a seizure. The girl falls on her knees and starts violently tr uh, trashing, striking her hands and several times over her head uh, on the hard concrete. You realize this is a frenzy of extreme rough emotion. The girl sh shrinks, cries, tears uh, at her head and con con convulses. But after a few minutes, the horror shows empathy and mercifully stops. She stands up again, silent and robotic again. Um, you? You okay? Hello? Oh, I, that's me. It's... Oh, it's you. I saw you before. Or there. I don't know. Okay. She is a lunatic. Right. If you allow me, I'll be on my way. Thank you very much. Bye. Oh, we can speak about uh, with the guy about his daughter. The, the one that has some crazy dreams. Maya's weak and imaginable child. Some of the things we had to do to, for the sake of survival and discipline were not to her liking. But it's her fault much more than it's mine. Okay, if you think so. By all means, yeah, that's great! So it's an interesting dead end over here. Oh crap, hunger. Uh, can I actually eat when I'm over here? Oh, I can, great. Okay. So go over there. This looks like a dead end. And bandits, of course! And at the very dead end of the tunnel, I found myself a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great because I got some crap to sell. Finally, my weed draft have ended. Oh, I'm back to normal, so I can now once again <laughs> deliver. Uh, okay, being quit as a bunch of stalkers being mauled by rats. Nah, they, they can handle that thing. Finally, I can once again shoot like a pro, you know, two times, every single bloody ass time, not like before, only once, which is a real pain in the ass. Sissy, once again. What's with the rats and the stalkers all over the place? But after crawling, because I cannot say we walk it, we crawl it through this thing, I even managed to get to get attacked by fucking ass demons once again. And the big boy is coming towards me, boys. Okay, uh, headshot. Twenty. Okay, that's not good. Aim for the eyes. Oh, one hundred and twelve, and he's down. And the last one going down very soon. Unless Alexander's gonna die. Oh, ten hit points left. Whew. Alexander got a new level. Thank God. Uh, no meat. Wait, what the heck? 
Oh, great. No meat. Sometimes they drop meat. Sometimes they don't. And now I don't know how to fucking heal my wolf. Well, that's just lovely. But okay, Alexander got a level up. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, hunger. Yeah, sure. Alexander got a level up. Uh, okay, action points. Well, that's just great. Mm, 15. That's not enough. I still have to give him a lot of points because he is supposed to walk around with this cannon. But he doesn't have enough points to actually start to use it. Yeah. <laughs> Jolly good, isn't it? I thought that this is some type of a, you know, special place, but apparently it's not. Right, the tunnels just keep on going somewhere. I think we have to actually now go north and maybe we're gonna try to discover something cool. I don't know. We're gonna see. That's gonna be the thing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna leave for the future episodes. We still have to level up like a lot. They even have enough ammunition to do that thing. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think I'm fine when it when it comes to uh, to ammunition. Yeah, I, I should be fine. <laughs> right, how's the ammunition of you guys doing? Yeah, you also got a lot of bullets. I've, I've stockpiled a lot of bullets back in the base. Like, tremendous amounts of bullets. Uh, 545. Okay, you are actually running low on those things, but I should have them a lot. 545. Yeah, I got a lot of those. And Alexander is using this thing, which is 9mm. Uh, yeah, he still needs to gain a bit more experience. I also got th this thing over here. Like, this cannon is, is great. I would love to use this thing. It's basically, like, I think improved... Yeah, it's improved version of, of this thing, right? But still, it requires 100 uh, automatic firearms, which is gonna be a long-ass time to develop. And also, we got this thing, which I don't have too many ammunition. So I'm gonna basically leave this thing for special encounters and also I need to level up my rifles and shotguns because I know for sure that I got I don't have enough for use uh, to use this 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 weapon. So yeah, it's progressing. We're gonna see what all the nightmares we're gonna find in the underground. But that's gonna be the thing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna try to do during the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the next episode. Thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next video.